Lipoprotein little a, also known as LP little a, is a type of protein. Lipoprotein is a major reason for the growth of cardiovascular disease. The level of LP little a in the blood is entirely influenced by genetics. Unlike other cardiac risk factors, LP little a cannot be changed with diet or exercise. Also, your LP little a level is the same at age 5 as it is at 50 years old. The only exception is when a woman reaches menopause or if you have an illness like chronic kidney disease. In that case, your level may rise. But how does it cause heart problems? What is the treatment? Let's look into this today. This is Scope Care, the best place for patients and caregivers of all ages to receive guidance. If you'd like to be a part of Scope Care, subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started on our topic. Lipoprotein little a is a blood particle that carries low density lipoproteins, LDL cholesterol. Elevated LP little a levels are a significant risk factor for heart attack due to atherosclerosis. Fats and water don't mix, as we all know. This is also true in the body when fats are transported through the bloodstream. The term lipoprotein refers to a glob of fatty acid and protein that has been packaged so that it can be easily distributed throughout the body. Low density and high density cholesterol are both lipoproteins. A low density cholesterol particle attached to an apolipoprotein little a, also known as apo little a, and ApoB100 make up lipoprotein little a. Atherosclerosis is increased by the Apo little a element. However, it also causes clotting by interfering with the body's ability to dissolve clots. As a result, you're getting a double whammy of increased atherosclerosis and oxidized LDL. Because their structure has changed, LDL tends to oxidize once inside a vessel wall, causing greater inflammation reactions. All of this leads to a structure that raises the risk of blood clots. The size of the LP little a molecule can vary greatly, and you can inherit two different sizes of LP little a from your mother and father. What does lipoprotein little a actually do? Lipoprotein little a, which is produced in the liver and subsequently circulated in the bloodstream, has been found to build up under the inner lining of arteries. This buildup may contribute to atherosclerosis, the formation of fatty plaques in your arteries that can lead to heart disease, heart attack, and stroke. It also promotes arterial inflammation, redness, swelling, and the formation of foam cells, which are fats that attach to atherosclerotic plaques. As a result, people with high LP little a values are prone to heart attacks and narrowing of the aorta, as well as blockages in the arteries of the leg your genes determine your LP little a value, which means the value stays fairly consistent throughout your life. Diet and exercise habits have virtually no effect on the levels in your bloodstream. While most people have low levels, an estimated 20% of people have LP little a levels that elevate their risk. Because LP little a is hereditary, people with high levels often have a grandparent, parent, or sibling who suffered a heart attack or stroke at a relatively young age usually in their 50s or even younger. Often, they don't seem to be likely candidates for developing heart disease because they have no other traditional risk factors, such as diabetes or high LDL cholesterol. When LDL cholesterol is high, high levels of lipoprotein little a are believed to be the most harmful to artery walls. In addition, higher levels of lipoprotein little a have been shown to lower the chances of survival after a heart attack. Who should consider LP little a testing? Although you may ask when an LP little a test is necessary just in case, there are circumstances when a physician would prescribe this test. LP little a testing is recommended for the following groups of people. Firstly, people who have a mother, father, sister, or brother who developed cardiovascular disease including a heart attack, stroke, and peripheral artery disease at an early age. 55 or younger for men, and 65 or younger for women. Secondly, people with heart disease who have normal levels of LDL, 
HDL, and triglycerides. Thirdly, siblings, children, parents, and close relatives of anyone with an elevated LP little a level. However, it is worth noting that there aren't any medications specifically approved for treating high LP little a, even in people whose LDL levels are only slightly elevated or normal. How do we lower LP little a? Unfortunately, there aren't many medicines known to reduce LP little a at this time. Estrogen and niacin, a B vitamin, both lower LP little a, but neither has been shown to protect people against heart disease. PCSK9 inhibitors, a new family of drugs that hit the market in 2015, have been proven to reduce LP little a moderately, but further research is required before they can be prescribed to reduce LP little a. Lipoprotein apheresis, a type of dialysis used to regularly lower LDL and LP little a in some people, can lower both LDL and LP little a. Finally, many LP little a reducing medicines are currently being tested in clinical trials. Some traditional heart healthy recommendations include eating a plant-based diet, exercising regularly, and reducing stress. However, if you really want to protect your heart from LP little a and strengthen it to fight against any illness, you should follow these tips. Hold on friends, is there any confusion so far regarding lipoprotein? Please let us know in the comments section below. Also, remember to like and subscribe to the Scope Care channel to see more informative content in the future. Number 1. Fill up on fruits and vegetables. Eat at least 5 servings of fruit and vegetables per day to increase your potassium intake. Potassium can help in the reduction of blood pressure. Fruit and vegetable nutrients such as minerals, vitamins, and fiber may also help keep your heart healthy. For example, citrus fruits, sweet potatoes, aubergine, and most beans are all high in soluble fiber, which may help decrease cholesterol. Number 2. Consume less sugar. Too much sugar in your diet can cause weight gain, increased blood pressure, diabetes, and heart disease. Eat fresh fruit with yogurt instead of sweetened puddings and pastries if you can't live without sugar. Number 3. Limit saturated fat. Saturated fats such as butter, ghee, margarine, fatty meats, dairy fats, and processed meals like pies, pastries, and cakes are all believed to raise cholesterol levels. So instead of full-fat dairy meals, choose semi-skimmed milk and low-fat dairy foods. Choose lean cuts of meat and steam or grill instead of frying. Number 4. Cut down on salt. If you have a high salt diet, your blood pressure is likely to be extremely high too, increasing your chances of developing heart disease or stroke. Adults should consume no more than 6 grams of salt per day, while children should have 3 grams at most. Reduce your intake by avoiding having salt at the table and limiting how much you use in the kitchen. Also, please read labels to see how much salt is in processed foods. Foods with more than 1.5 grams of salt or 0.6 grams of sodium per 100 grams are high, so avoid them as much as possible. Number 5. Go for more fish. Fish is high in omega-3 fatty acids. Opt for choices like pilchards, sardines, mackerel, salmon, and fresh tuna, which are considered very good for your heart because they lower cholesterol levels. If you're a vegetarian, omega-3 fats can also be found in spinach, wheat germ, walnuts, flaxseed, flaxseed oil, canola oil, and pumpkin seeds. Number 6. Stop smoking. Smoking is one of the leading causes of cardiovascular disease, and smokers are more likely than non-smokers to suffer a heart attack. This is because smoking not only affects your artery lining, but it also lowers the amount of oxygen in circulation and increases your blood pressure. Number 7. Cut back on alcohol. Alcohol can harm your heart by triggering high blood pressure, heart problems, and heart muscle damage. You don't have to abandon drinking entirely though. Instead, stick to current moderate alcohol consumption limits, 2-3 to three drinks for women and 3-4 to four for men per day. Number 8. Get more exercise. Active people are less likely to suffer a heart attack than those who are not. To reduce your risk of coronary heart disease, try 150 minutes of moderate activity every week. You can work in the 150 minutes any way you like. For example, take a brisk 30-minute walk every lunchtime during the week. Number 9. Keep your weight down. 
If you're overweight, you have a higher risk of high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and type 2 diabetes. Cutting back on alcohol, eating less sugar and saturated fat, eating more fruits and vegetables, and getting more exercise will all help you lose weight and keep it off in the long run. Number 10. Keep stress under control. More than 1,400 biochemical responses to stress include a rise in blood pressure and a faster heart rate. If you don't manage your stress, it can create more stress and trap you in a stress cycle. Excessive stress can disturb your sleep cycles and raise your blood pressure, both of which are harmful to your heart and cardiovascular system. Identifying your stressors is the first step toward reducing stress levels. From there, you may use the four A's of stress reduction, avoid, alter, adapt, and accept to establish successful stress management strategies. To begin, limit your exposure to stressors. You can reduce stress in various ways. For example, leaving earlier to avoid traffic or declining new work or responsibilities. So folks, before wrapping up this video, remember, this is essential for everyone. The optimal guideline level of LDL cholesterol is less than 100 mg per deciliter. So what do you do if you carry the risk alleles for LP little a? Knowledge is power here. Keep in mind that this is a relatively common genetic risk factor, so it isn't a reason to get stressed out or be anxious. Instead, it is an excellent reason to make lifestyle changes to lower your risk of a heart attack. Alright guys, do you have any questions regarding lipoprotein? Let us know in the comment section. Stay connected to Scopecare for more interesting content and updates on a healthy lifestyle by liking and subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one. Keep shining. Bye.